um, graduation plans, which is the foundation, which is our last year's minimum plan. And then we have the distinguished uh, achievement, which that also has endorsements with it. All right, and so the majority, all of our data kids are all starting off with the uh, distinguished plan with the endorsements. Because the data kids, regardless of what we're doing, you're gonna graduate with one or probably two or three endorsements. So, because I have all of you guys on the four by four plan, which is the, um, the disciplinary, blah, 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 multidisciplinary uh, plan, and that's this one right here. Um, no, this, sorry, this is the uh, requirements for graduation, so I have my slides messed up. Okay, so these, this is what you need to graduate, okay? So you need to have, under the, the plan that I have your kids on, four English credits, four math credits, four science, three social studies, and then the um, two foreign languages of the same exact um, foreign language, one credit of physical education, one credit of fine arts, four and a half electives, and then a semester of health. Okay, that's what all of them need to have. Up until this last graduating class that just walked the stage, we had several different graduation plans. This is the first year that everyone is on the same one. So it's so easy for the counselors now because we were having to keep all the different grad plans in our minds. Um, so that is it right now, we have everyone on. So in reference to the endorsements, we have five different endorsements, arts and humanities, business and industry, the STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, public services, and multidisciplinary studies. The multidisciplinary studies is what all of you are on right now. So the district, if you look at your schedule, it'll say your endorsement is the four core. That is what the district has put everyone under. It's like the default plan, because everyone, no matter what, just if you're in data, will graduate with that endorsement, no matter what. Okay, so college application. There are two college applications that they fill out. One is the Applied Texas, and that is for all Texas schools. The Common App are for all the out-of-state schools and the Ivy League schools. Those are the ones that they're going to apply for. I always want my college, my seniors, by the time they walk in the door, to have these two done. Um, everything needs to be done. Uh, the whole application is to my seniors. Um, uh, they have to have the application completed. Um, essays that are, that are required, that should be done so that you're not rushed with homework or anything. Have your essays done throughout the summer. So when you walk in, you can have those essays ready to give to your English 4 teacher and have them proofread it. You never want to turn in an essay for a college with grammatical errors. That's a no-no. Uh, you can have your uh, resumes done. Everything should be done so that it's not in the way of your homework. You have plenty of time in the summer to get that done. Um, you can apply up to four different colleges within these two um, websites. Um, of course, there's an application fee that goes along with every single college you apply for. So you can apply to four, you can apply to eight, but you already have to pay for the application fee for each of those. Okay? Um, there's, like I said, an application essay. It's not required for every single college. My daughter applied, each of my daughters applied for four to five colleges, and every college requires something. So um, it just depends. Letters of recommendation, again, that's different depending on the college. Uh, again, resumes are not required by all the colleges. How do we get our transcript? That's always something that's really, really big. There's a, a transcript request form that has to be filled out and turned in to the main council office. And I do have the forms outside my office, and they're also in the main council office. Um, all of their information is on there, uh, what school they wanted to go to. The very first one is free. So we have that one in the front. And on the back side is where they put all the other um, colleges on there. So uh, it's $5 after the first one. Um, official transcript cannot be given directly to any student or any parent. It can be emailed, can be faxed over, anything like that, because um, that's just, that's, that is just a huge no-no. That's totally illegal. <laughs> So um, anything official coming from our school has to be either sent over electronically through the clerks in state. If it's out of state, it has to be mailed. And it has to come from our front office. Um, some colleges will require a college application and the official transfer to, be come, to come at the same time. So if that's the case, if you have to go to the main county office and then you just turn in your transfer request form, you have to give them your application as well and tell them this is going to Harvard or anywhere and this has to go inside of that envelope and so they will do that as well. All dual credit transcripts, we'll talk about dual credit and a little bit, but dual credit transcripts have to be 
requested from SAC directly. They did not come from OZO. And then other ways to acquire college credits, of course, school credit, uh, AP exam. So our AP classes come AP, let's say English 4, but it also comes AP English 4 dual credit. So if people get confused, they're like, well, so what do I do? Do I take the test or do I do the dual credit? So if they're going to sign up for dual credit, there's a total different application process that has to happen with that. You're actually applying for SAC. At the same time, you're in this AP class. Well, they think they're going to say, well, if I'm in an AP class, do I still have to take the AP exam at the end of the school year? You do not have to take the AP exam for the school year if you're doing dual credit. Um, but there are some kids um, that will just be in AP class and choose not to do dual credit. And at the end of May is when they sign up to take the AP test because every single AP class has an AP test that goes with it or an exam. And there's a fee for that. And if you're on free or reduced lunch, I believe it's like $5 if it's not. It's, um, we do have college advisors um, at our College of Career uh, Go Center. And those are two people that have just recently graduated from Trinity. And it's like a two-year commitment and then they come into the public schools and they do this. They don't get paid a lot of money, but it's a commitment to just go out to the schools to help other seniors to get ready for um, college. And they do college information. It's kind of the kids can go in there before school, after school, during lunch, or with a pass. Um, they sign in once they get in there. And these kids keep their jobs based on how many kids they help throughout the whole school year. Um, and they don't have to 